Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be taking you through my Spotify playlist. It's something I've been seeing a lot of people kind of do, um, whether it's showing off what's on their phone or pictures or whatever, but I'm going to show you my Spotify playlist and the type of music that I listen to. And for this video, I am wearing my one of my Linkin Park shirts to kind of get into the mood a little bit. Um, so my playlist is pretty much mostly metal and rock. So, and that, that goes into all genres, so metalcore, new metal, uh, hard rock, uh, punk rock, uh, emo, it's just, it's, it covers a wide variety of those genres, and if you think you would enjoy that, don't worry, I'm leaving a link to the playlist in the description if you want to listen to it, or since I'm going to be going through it. Um, you can listen to the songs either before I talk about them or after I talk about them. If you want to, you know, make your own, make up your own mind about these songs. So, um, yeah, besides that, um, I probably won't be spending too much time on these on, like on each individual song and this is probably going to have to be broken up into multiple different videos because my playlist is pr almost a hundred hours long now and it has I think about 1500 songs so this is going to be uh, a multi-part video um, just because there's, there's just so many songs so um, without further ado though uh, I'm going to switch it to my computer screen and um, I'm going to take you through my playlist so I hope you enjoy the video and maybe you'll fall asleep before the end so uh, I will see ya and it's time to switch 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 alright so now we are switched over to my computer and we are going to be going through the playlist. So to start it off, we have Break Stuff by Limp Biscuit. And I don't really think there's a better way that I could have started this playlist off than with this song right here. This song is pretty much the epitome of everything, hard rock and heavy metal and just, I guess, the emotion of anger and frustration that comes with it and getting that all out through music. I mean, when they played this song at uh, Woodstock 99, they pretty much burned the place down. And it probably went down as probably one of the craziest rock and metal concerts in history. Uh, moving on, we got Revis with uh, Caught in the Rain. Um, a nice break after Break Stuff. Uh, a slower song. Uh, very beautiful uh, vocals. And um, just overall really, really good. Um, moving on from that, we got Breathe Into Me. Um by Red uh, another great song a um, little bit slower too but um, it kind of it kind of has that I don't know old sounding feel to it I, I don't know how to really describe it you kind of have to listen to it yourself to know what I mean Song number four is That Day by Nonpoint. Nonpoint is an amazing uh, band. Um, 
really heavy, um, and I love their new metal sound that they have. Um, if you're into new metal, this is a band uh, that I think you would enjoy. Uh, moving on, we got Soul Addiction by Silar. Um, great song. Um, they haven't really put out anything in a little bit, um, but Silar is a pretty good band. Um, pretty solid um, songs on their albums. Uh, now the next song we have is uh, by from one of my favorite bands, um, and that's Come and Get It from I Prevail. Um, I Prevail is one of my, like I said, favorite bands, and I don't know how they they keep doing it, but every album they release is better than the last, because they just dropped True Power um, last year in August, and that is my new favorite album by them. Uh, very close with their last one, which was Trauma. Okay, I'm going to have to start kind of going a little bit faster because <laughs> it's going to take a while. But uh, next song we have is Blood by Breaking Benjamin. Breaking Benjamin, uh, they're an okay band. Um, I kind of think they're they're mediocre in a way, just middle of the road. And all their songs kind of sound the same, but uh, this is one of the ones where it's just really kind of breaks out from the rest um next song we have is unbreakable by of mice and men um don't really listen to too much of mice and men but this is a really good um really great song about how you should keep pushing through everything and how you shouldn't give up um next we got wait and bleed by Slipknot. Now, Slipknot used to be my favorite band of all time. Um, I have since uh, kind of outgrown that stage in my life. Um, that was kind of my introduction into uh, heavy metal and hard rock. Um, but they will always have a special place in my heart, I'd say. Uh, next go along with the theme of my shirt and the theme of the profile picture of this playlist uh, we got numb by Linkin Park which is actually probably my one of my least favorite songs by Linkin Park um, I don't really like their popular stuff um, I, I know it's off the second album but their first and second albums are my favorite and just the the new metal like heavy feeling of the rap and rock and everything about it is just amazing uh, next we have an absolute classic we got down with the sickness from disturbed um, not much I can really say about this it's just an absolute just amazing song and it's their big hit Next, if you're into Chevelle, or if you've ever heard of Chevelle, you'll know this. Um, the Red, one of their uh, bigger songs. Um, Chevelle's a great band, um, great musically. I'm not the biggest fan, but I can appreciate them for what they are. Next one is a song I think probably everyone here knows, and that's... Uh, Last Resort by Papa Roach, and following the theme of uh, Linkin Park's popular songs, uh, I am not a big fan of this song. I think it's probably Papa Roach's, uh, one of his weakest songs, actually. I know that might be an unpopular opinion. I mean, especially, cause I, I guess, from the songs that I've listened to from Papa Roach, which is probably like half of them. Um, from all of all his albums, but yeah, uh, let's move on. Next, we got another one of my favorite bands, which is System of a Down, uh, Sugar. 
Now this is a song that I didn't really like um, at first, but over time it has grown on me more and more. And the breakdown at the end, um, I'd say, is one of their best. And just a phenomenal band and phenomenal song. And it's too bad that they uh, they stopped making music because they probably could have uh, been even bigger than they already are. And they are a huge band. Speaking of big bands, uh, we got Rage Against the Machine with Killing in the Name, which is their big hit. Um, not much else I can say about it. It's an absolute classic. Another classic, I'd say, is uh, the next song, which is Holly, which is from Hollywood Undead, and that's their breakout hit, Undead, from their first album, Swan Songs. Um, Hollywood Undead has always been one of those bands people either love or, or hate, I feel like, and I love Hollywood Undead, and I'd say they're one of my guilty pleasure bands. Um, I love pretty much everything they put out. Uh, it's just, they're just really fun to listen to, I'd say. And um, I just like how they have a wide variety of, I guess, styles in their music. Um, next we have um, I Hate Everything About You from Three Days Grace. Um, Three Days Grace is one of my favorite bands of all time. And I saw them in concert, actually. Um few years ago um, with Disturbed and it was absolutely amazing how um, how good both bands were live um, over time I I've kind of grown a little bit uh, detached from Three Days Grace I mean I still love them but I just don't listen to them as much as I used to Next song we have is another Chevelle song, uh, Send the Pain Below, another big song from them. Um, once again, just amazing song musically, and um, not much else I can say. Next song we have is um, kind of, a, I guess, a more unknown one. Uh, that's from Power Man 5000, which, if I remember correctly, is the son, or is he the... I think it's the brother of Rob Zombie, um, and this is called When Worlds Collide. Uh, just great, fast-paced uh, song. Kind of, kind of gets you pumped up. Uh, next song we have is another Linkin Park song. Uh, In the end, their big breakout hit from their first album, Hybrid Theory. Um, and going with the theme of their popular songs, this is one of my least favorite Linkin Park songs, but I still appreciate it for what it is. It's just, I think I've heard it so many times that it's just, <laughs> I, I don't think I could really listen to it anymore. Next we have uh, Bottom of a Bottle from Smile Empty Soul. Um, great slower song. Um, powerful message about um, substance abuse um, and he I think he really just kind of pulls his pull, uh, uh, pours his heart and soul into the, the song uh, when the vocalist so I'd give it a listen if you kind of want to see what I'm talking about moving on we got somewhere I belong uh, from Lincoln Park now we're getting into the more um, well, le well, I guess slightly lesser known songs from them. Still very well known. Um, but I like this song a lot better than Numb in, in the end. Uh, still not my even close to my favorite by them, but great song nonetheless. Uh, next uh, song is Duality from Slipknot, which is their biggest song. Um, this is the song that got me into Slipknot. I love... Um, just just the chorus is so good in the song and i guess i'd recommend if you're getting into heavier stuff heavy like if you're not into this duality is kind of a good place to start for the metal side of things 
if it's too heavy for you, maybe stay more on like uh, the other songs that I've been talking about, which is more like hard rock, the, the hard rock side of things, slightly less heavy. Um, next, we got Bartender by uh, Head P.E. Um, good classic, I guess, uh, new metal song. Um, it's okay. Um, not much else I can really say about it. Next, we have Across the Nation from the Union Underground. Uh, the Union Underground is a great... Um, they're either late 90s or early 2000s um, band, um, and everything they do was just high, ener high energy, um, great, great sounding metal, um, metal eyes, and uh, this is this was a WWE intro, but it's just amazing. But the song I'd say I like better from them is the next one, which is "Turn Me On, Mr. Dead Man." which was one of their big hits. And I don't know, this song is just really fun to listen to. Um, not, um, I don't know, I just love the energy of it. <laughs> um, so let's move on. Uh, next we have uh, our first kind of emo, one of our first emo songs, which is Miss Murder from AFI, or AFI, however you pronounce it, um, it's, like, it's kind of like a classic emo song, um, just really good, another song we got is, uh, Cake, from Cake, which is the only Cake song I have on my entire playlist, and it's their big hit, Never There, um, if I was remaking my playlist today, I probably would take this song off but it's been here for so long now that I'm just keep it so. uh, next we have Blank Space by I Prevail which is a cover of Taylor Swift's Blank Space and I think I Prevail did a much better job at doing it and I'm probably only saying that just because I don't like pop music and I'm not a fan of Taylor Swift so I don't know they just bring something I guess, different to the table. Uh, you know, I prevail in making their metal cover of it. Um, next, we got another non-point song, Bullet with a Name. On, uh, Bullet with a Name. Um, another great new metal song from non-point. Um, just really high energy, and I'd recommend uh, giving it a listen. Next uh, is our first song from Sum 41. Uh, which is Fat Lip, um, one of their big hits. Um, I promise we'll get to lesser known songs like as the videos go on, but um, Fat, uh, so I'm not the biggest fan of Sum 41. Uh, there are some, uh, one of my friends is a huge fan, but uh, they never were um, my favorite. So. Next we got The Mountain from Three Days Grace which was their big hit off their Outsider album, which released in 2018. Um, great song about just never giving up and continuing to push for what you want. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about it. Great song. Uh, next song we have is Paper Cut by Linkin Park. And... I'd say out of the Linkin Park songs I've talked about so far, this is my favorite out of the four we I've uh, talked about so far. Um, it just has that uh, nice new metal sound. I'm a big new metal fan. Um, if you haven't guessed it already, um, that old Linkin Park sound is just so good, and it's just so I don't know. They just they just knew they were changing the game back then. I swear they they knew something everyone else didn't, and they just they just got so popular because of it. So yeah. Um, next we got courtesy call from Thousand Foot Crutch, which is their big song. Um, 
Um, I'm a huge fan of Thousand Foot Crutch. Um, and I think Courtesy Call is one of their weakest ones. Going along with the trend of... I don't like popular songs from artists usually, I guess. Which I'm going to contradict that statement in saying the next song, Stupefy by Disturbed, is one of my favorite Disturbed songs. And I absolutely love it. Probably even more so than Down With The Sickness. I don't know. Something about it just gives me... Um, I don't know, it just makes me feel, uh, makes me feel good, I guess, more than Down With The Sickness does. Um, I don't know why. Yeah. Um, next song we have is from Volbeat, which is a great band. Um, not my favorite, you know, they get old after a while, um, but it's kind of like if, uh, metal was made in, like, the 40s, is how I kind of think of it. Um, a Warrior's Call is probably one of their um, best songs they have, and um, it's a great, it's just a great song. Next we have um, a song by Pop Evil, which is another one of my uh, favorite bands, uh, and this is probably one of my favorite songs by them too, uh, Waking Lions. Uh, just really high energy song, and great vocals, great everything. Uh, next we have another Limp Bizkit song, uh, My Way. Um, great song. Just, you either love or hate Limp Bizkit. I'm one of the people who love them. Uh, really, really big fan of Limp Bizkit, so, yeah. But probably one of their, uh, weaker songs in my opinion. Next we have, uh, Walking in My Shoes by Fever333. Uh, good high energy song. That's pretty much all I have to say. Um, then we have Roots from In This Moment. Uh, another great song. Um, I think it's the first uh, female vocalist on this list so far too. So, yeah. Next we got P Help by Papa Roach. Um, going along with the trend here uh one of uh, my least favorite papa roach songs um i don't like their bigger hits i don't know i like their more underground stuff i guess i'm not trying to act special or anything just 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 the way <laughs> it's just the way i i guess i've just heard them too much you know next we got a uh, shine down with Devil off one of their newer albums, Attention, Attention. Uh, great song. Uh, played on the radio a lot, and I just really thought it was unique. Yep. Next we got uh, Die MF Die. Um, very kid-friendly song from Dope. Um, high energy, um, very heavy. Um, Dope is one of those bands where I think kind of fell off. Um, they don't really do much anymore. I, I guess they still make music, but they aren't what they once were, I guess. Uh, next, we got an absolutely amazing band. Uh, do You Really Want It by Nothing More. Now, Nothing More is one of those bands with... He, he probably has one of the best voices in like rock and metal right now. He can, he can hit such high notes. And when I saw them live, they were fantastic. And even live, he was hitting extremely high notes. And they just have so much energy and stage presence. And, I don't know, just amazing. It might sound like I'm rambling. And, um, I kind of am, but, you know, this is, I'm kind of passionate about all this stuff right here, so. If it seems like it's all over the place, I'm sorry. Um, next, we got uh, Fake by Five Finger Death Punch. Another uh, band that I love. Just very high energy in every single one of their songs. Very heavy. Um, and when I saw them live, they were just amazing. So. Another song by Three Days Grace, Home. Um going along with the trend here again um one of my uh 
least favorite uh, Three Days Grace songs, I'd say. Very, and when I say least favorite for all this stuff, I still love every single one of these songs, or else they wouldn't be on my playlist. I just think they're weaker than other songs in their categories, or catalog, should I say. Um, love the Way You Hate Me from Like a Storm. Um, very good song by this band. Uh, I don't have any others on this playlist, but this one, I don't know, just very good. Very good. Another Nothing More song, This Is The Time. Um, very high notes in this song, um, especially towards the end, if you know what I'm talking about. And when he performed this live, he hit that note, and it was amazing. Uh, next we have Zero. Uh, by the Smashing Pumpkins, absolute classic song. Um, I'm not a big Smashing Pumpkins fan, but I appreciate them and um, what they've kind of done for music and rock and how they kind of pushed a lot of stuff along. They're, you know, they were just a huge band, and I, I get, they still are, but I never really was a big fan. But I can appreciate them. Um. Song number 50, we made it. Um, Love Bites and So Do I by Hailstorm. Now, Hailstorm is probably one of the best female um, heavy metal hard rock artists out there right now. Um, just has such a great voice and um, n like everything. Everyone in that band is great. Next, we got another Linkin Park song, One Step Closer. Um, great song. Um, it's good old classic Linkin Park hybrid theory, and uh, yeah, not much else. Another great song is uh, Novocaine by Ten Years. Ten Years is a great band, absolutely amazing. I have yet to see them, but I want to. Um, they have just, it seems like every song of theirs is, is really good. I recommend them. Next we got Disturbed with Open Your Eyes. Um, pretty good Disturbed song. Uh, not my favorite. Um, not much else to say. Uh, I'm going to start. I said this last time, but now I'm actually going to start going through these faster. Um, we got Love, Lust, and Liars from I Prevail. Great song about... Um, being cheated on and um, it's good good therapy for that now we're getting into the really uh, the Lincoln Park uh, some of my favorites so we got hit the floor which is one of my favorite Lincoln Park songs um, from Meteor really heavy song uh, breaking the habit uh, slower not too much slower but slower song um, really good um, a place for my head by Linkin Park, which is probably one of my favorite Linkin Park songs of all time. Just everything about it. It's just perfect to, to me, I think. Victimize, really short, uh, heavy song by them. Keys to the Kingdom, uh, great song. Um, Forgotten, great mix of heavy and then it slows down and it's more like harmonic it feels like um really good with you another great song by them and uh, uh guilty all the same great song with some uh with some rap towards the end and every single one of these songs i like better than you know <laughs> numb and in the end 60, number 63, we got Ultranum by Blue Stolly. Great song with some, uh, um, kind of like, I want to say dubstep, but like, some electronic sounding so, uh, sounds in there. Uh, Black Wedding, Feet Rob Halford from In This Moment. Um, it's a uh, play on, uh, I forgot. White Wedding, 
by um, I can't think of it right now, but um, really good song. Given Up by Linkin Park, one of my favorite songs by them, um, and it has the famous 17 second scream from Chester Bennington uh, in it, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, Grindstone from Backwards. Uh, Backwards is a great, um, I guess, more modern uh, new, new metal band. Um, even though they claim they aren't new metal, I think they are. Um, because they are a mix of rap and metal. Um, uh, then we also got Utopias Don't Exist from them, Self-Ownership, uh, and Democracy Sucks. Next, moving on, we got Bottle and a Gun from Hollywood Undead, Swan Songs album, and Pimpin' from Hollywood Undead and Swan Songs, which is a great album. Next, we got Hate Me from Dead. Uh, probably one of their weaker songs off their uh, first album, but still uh, nice to listen to. Uh, Amber from Stick to Your Guns. Uh, decent song. Uh, nothing too special. We got two more I Prevail songs. Scars and Lifelines. Very good songs, each of them. Everything they put out is great. Next, we got Go to War by Nothing More. Um, one of my favorite songs by them. And uh, I gotta take a drink of water. Feels like I'm kind of losing my voice doing this. Yeah, um, great song. I've said that like a million times, but it is. Adrenaline from Shinedown, one of their best songs, better songs. You're going to go Far Kid from The Offspring, their big hit. Uh, the Kill from 30 Seconds to Mars, um, one of their their breakout hit. Um, another song by System of a Down, Violent Pornography. Probably one of my favorite System of a Down songs. Um, it's just absolutely insane to listen to. It has that high energy that you would, would expect from System of a Down. Um but it is not for kids. <laughs> no. Cradle to the Grave. Cradle to the Grave from Five Finger Death Punch. Great song. Frozen uh, with Cell Dweller and Blue Stolly. Uh, pretty good, uh, kind of like EDM metal song. Now we got <laughs> more Linkin Park songs. So Figure uh, 09, Don't Stay. Lying from you, faint, bleed it out, war, and a line in the sand. Every single one of these songs is, I'd say, either an A or an S tier like song. Every single one. Some of their best work, right here. Um, we got another thousand foot crutch song. Uh, let the sparks fly. Great song. Uh. We got our first Stone Sour song, Get Inside. Um, another great, um, Stone Sour is a great band. Um, Corey Taylor, which is Slipknot singer, or vocalist, should I say, his second band. And he brings uh, the same stuff, kind of, um, from Slipknot. So if you like that high energy, um, you'll love Stone Sour. Uh, another Five Finger song, Champagne. Great song. Enemies from Shinedown. Another good song. Inside the Fire from Disturbed. Uh, not my favorite, but it's pretty good. Freedom from Crossfaith. Um, I liked it more when I added it. Uh, not, not too much of uh, my favorite anymore. Not, I'm not too keen on it nowadays. Jekyll and Hyde from Five Finger Death Punch. Oh, great song. Absolutely amazing. And the music video is hilarious. A villain from Wildfire. Great song. Um, kind of like the music video, how they kind of have all the comic book villains and stuff, and it kind of looks like a comic book. 
Uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, the only ghost song I have on the entire playlist, because I'm not a big fan of Ghost, is uh, Rats. Um, which is probably, to me, their best song. Don't come, <laughs> don't come uh, argue with me about their uh, Mariana Cross TikTok song because that song, I don't believe, I don't think it's that good. All right, last two for this video, we got Beartooth, with in between. Beartooth is one of my favorite bands. Um, they've been kind of hit or miss lately, but back in the day, their first couple albums were just just amazing a tier i'd say a to s tier um and then for the final song i'm going to talk about is kill pop from future leaders of the world um great kind of funky beat sounding song um and it kind of has that new metal feel to it i guess in a, in a sense but it I don't know. It's it's kind of kind of has that hip hop feel to it as well. And I guess that will do it for this video. Just because I feel like I'm losing my voice. But I got through the first 100. Um, there's <laughs> there's many more to go because I'm almost at 1600 songs. So this will be multiple parts, which okay more content for you guys but anyway if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and comment any suggestions you have for videos in the future and with that I hope you would go and listen to these songs um and give your own opinions on them too I'd love to hear them I'd love to hear your opinions on every single one of these um yeah and uh I hope you enjoyed the video so with that I will see you in the next video